To understand Murray Tinkleman, the artist, the illustrator, the educator, the historian, and the rock on tour, one needs to know a little something of his personal story. Always impatient, always the individualist, Murray entered the art school at Cooper Union following his discharge from the Army in 1954. He left after two years to accept the Max Beckman Scholarship to study painting with Reuben Tam at the Brooklyn Museum Art School. Although he didn't stay there very long, his relationship with Tam continued, and Tam's influence has had an enduring impact on Murray's artistic endeavors and on his eventual outlook on the teaching of art. In 1956, Murray joined the celebrated Charles E. Cooper studio and remained there until its closing some eight years later. Cooper had been the most prestigious of the New York illustration studios, with a broad client base of advertising agencies and magazine publishers. During the Cooper years, Murray worked alongside such luminaries of illustration as Kobe Whitmore, Joe Bowler, and Joe Demers, all of whom are fellow members of the Hall of Fame. From the mid-1960s on, now fully freelance, Murray continued to rack up awards and honors and to balance simultaneous careers in both illustration and gallery painting. As an abstract expressionist, no less, at some point in the late 1960s, after nearly a decade of lecturing and teaching in limited capacity, Murray joined the faculty at Parsons School of Design and, as its associate chairperson, helped build that school's stellar illustration program. It would become one of the best programs of its kind in the country, and many students who attended his classes would go on to have significant careers, including Joe Chartello, Peter Desev, Richard Agelsky, Victor Huaz, William Lowe, Chris Spolin, and the list goes on. Murray would repeat his extraordinary success at Syracuse University in its undergraduate and graduate programs. He gave it his all and set an extraordinarily high benchmark in the quality of graduate art education. He is currently the director of the University of Hartford's Low Residency Master of Fine Arts and Illustration program at the Hartford Art School, a program he founded in large measure with the help of his wife, Carol. In 1970, Murray was named Artist of the Year by the Artist Guild of New York, and just one one might expect he would find comfort in repeating the styles and approaches that had brought him such success and fame so early in his career, he decided to reinvent himself with a new technique. His meticulously rendered drawings, most often in black and white, have, over the past four and a half decades, evolved into an unmistakable signature style of finely scribed and masterfully controlled lines and values. There are qualities that are abundantly clear in any Tinkleman drawing. The artist's infatuation with his subject and his relentless curiosity and joy with the experience of living, learning, and knowing. His stream of awards and honors would seem to be endless and richly deserved. This past spring, he received an honorary doctorate from Ferris University's Kendall College of Art in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Murray, the educator and historian, understands better than anyone that good teaching is, in equal parts, genuine passion for one's subject, great theater, and an earnest, heartfelt desire to make the lives of those who hear his words better for having heard them. He inspires, motivates, challenges, and has a rare gift of seeing talent in others. As a crowning acknowledgement of his teaching success, Murray was awarded the Society's Distinguished Educator in the Arts Award in 1999, the second living artist and educator to be so honored. For all the documentation about Murray, the true measure of who we are, to quote the Wizard of Oz, is not how much we love, but how much we are loved by others. Murray, by virtue of his magnificent art, by means of his encyclopedic knowledge of illustrations past, and by his inspired and innovative work in the classroom, has become one of the principal architects of modern illustration.